magical that when international and local stars appear on the stage, all the attention is focused on them. But what about the impresarios who make the magic happen? I met up with the power couple behind many spectacular stage productions. Movie music fans in South Africa have been treated to live performances by some of their favorite performers in recent years. But the impresarios who've made these spectacular shows possible remain largely in the background. Osman and Shyster Khan Osman are the prime movers behind a major local entertainment management company that plans and coordinates many of these tours and performances. It's very much a hands-on business. And while smartphones enable us to carry a virtual office in our palms, when it comes to coordinating a top-notch show, site visits are essential. Osman and Shyster were outlining their vision and requirements for the next big extravaganza when Zaki arrived. I met Osman Osman on the set of the movie material a few years back. He had one phone to one ear, one phone to another ear, and one phone in his lap. I'm catching up with him three years later to find out how Blue Blood is still keeping him so busy. I think this would be perfect for all our concerts. And then the smoking area will do outside. Hello! Hi! Hi! Good to how see are you? you? Good, good. I've been looking for the blue bloods everywhere. Oh, yeah, we've just been running around. You guys are so busy, I couldn't even find you. This year's been amazing. Over the last two years, we've been busy. We brought in the Broadway musical, Mystic India, Dora the Explorer, Orlando Jones, Salam, Atif Aslam, Sonu Nigam. There's just been a whole lot of things. We're expanding as being one of the leaders in Bollywood in South Africa to the leaders in comedy as well. We're now expanding into Kitty's productions and all the rest of it. It's just so amazing. Dora the Explorer was such a fun production to be a part of. 45 shows. You literally going to turn the wheel. Ooh, Issa. Issa. Turn, Issa, the turn the wheel. How did you get into the industry? Well, I started off when I was in school. Uh, oh, Zach, now you've asked the question. <laughs> Do you have about 10 hours? Well, I can write a book about it, but I started <laughs> off when I was in school because I needed to make extra money. You know, we come from a life of hardship and I started organizing the soccer tournaments in school and I had to charge people to enter and get sponsors and I had to keep the money for myself. So what's coming up for you guys? We've got a number of projects that we are launching for next year but our current major one is the Arti Faslam and Sonu Nigam which is coming down to South Africa. It's never been done on African soil. If you follow media, you know there's issues in Pakistan and India and music is uniting mm. and finding no boundaries and bringing together two nations that are enemies. What's also really amazing on the cards is Riyad Musa is going on an Africa tour. Okay, that's Osman's brainchild. Yes, and, and a Middle uh, East tour. So there's a whole lot of things happening for him there as well. And then Kings and Queens is going on a, a world, on world tour. tour. As well. What the Kings and Queens of Comedy does is it takes the humor and the politics and all the rest of culture in South Africa and it showcases it on the stage. You're in the business of live entertainment. How has the internet affected your business? The internet plays a major role in terms of our business, especially from a marketing point of view. Everyone's online on social platforms like Twitter and Facebook. It's actually so important that we have an entire division of the company dedicated to, to social, social media. media. You guys are so busy and you have a toddler in tow. Oh yes, the love of our lives. Why don't you come and meet her? I would love to meet her. Little Serena is two and a half, and she's the star of the show. Whose baby are you mom's? A mom's baby. I know! So beautiful. Say hi. So beautiful. Let's play hide and seek. Let's play hide and seek. Let's go. I'm going to one, two, three. She's wonderful. Take us back. How did you guys meet? A mutual friend. He was our graphics yeah. designer. About six years ago. Yeah. We both lived in a community in Lodium. Actually, Shasta moved out of Lodium. And, and she says, I'm not Lodium anymore. <laughs> So, Which is not true. <laughs> I was doing artwork and Shaista came in needed to do an urgent... Uh, she was doing an event and she needed his time, but I had bought his time. <laughs> so I conceded and gave her, uh, you know, let her do her stuff. And then that's oh, you I, conceded, I conceded, hey? Yeah. Oh, well, okay. I, saw one. I saw an opportunity, <laughs> I took the gap. That's not actually true. So I said to the guy, I said, Rashid, I really need this artwork done. And while we're on the topic, I need a comedian. Osmond popped his head forward and went, I'll get you a comedian. Yeah, I just started working with comedians. So they didn't have a budget um, for this, so I paid it out of my pocket and told her I got it for free. <laughs> you guys now have a beautiful little girl. How do you balance family and work? Serena's actually a part of our lives. We're parents that believe 
that both lives adapt into each other, you know, and she's wonderful because when we travel for business, she's with us, she's with us at all the shows. She's come accustomed to uh, the life of show business, so mm. she loves the stage. She's a little show loves, girl herself. Loves the, loves the mic and she sort of charms all the artists that we bring in. <laughs> you guys are very, very busy, but she's just as busy as you are. Talking about that, we've got a meeting to head out to. Come and join us, see what goes on behind the scenes. I'd love to see how this all works. <laughs> When you're planning a show headlined by two major international stars, nothing can be left to chance. And every detail from the fine print of the contract to the color balance of the posters must be double checked. At the same time, it's impossible for Osman and Shaista to be everywhere all the time. So it's vital that they delegate tasks to their team with confidence. Surprisingly enough, they manage to do this without seeming in the least bit stressed. What are some of the challenges of the entertainment industry? Look, it's an amazing industry, but from day to day and... Well, issues with visas and issues with contracts and putting together and obviously you need the right clearances that you need to get. What is the best part of the entertainment industry for you? Seeing everything come into fruition and all your hard work paying off and people actually appreciating and enjoying the event. Standing on the side of the stage and just looking at three or five or six thousand people Forgetting their daily worries, forgetting all about whatever's waiting for them back at home or back at the office and just singing, dancing and just being merry. Speaking of being busy, 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 you guys travel a lot. What is the purpose of your travels? For us, it's a, more of a personal relationship with our artist. So we go up and pre-plan and, you know, sort out logistics with them, contracts and whatever the case may be. But it's also about sourcing new products and seeing what's out there internationally to bring into Africa and into South Africa. I think it's very important to have a balanced family life uh, together with work. So it's really Serena travels everywhere with us. Speaking of which, we actually got a flight to catch. We are on our way out, so we need to keep on going. Okay. Let's go. Take me with you! <laughs> So great seeing you. Safe travels. Thank you. Thank you. If you Thank you for having us. And you spending can, the day with us. Pleasure, pleasure. Phil, you can leave it. Can you give it to me and you can go? No, we got oh, a flight okay. to catch. I, I would much rather leave my behind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye-bye, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Viewed from the outside, it may seem like a glamorous lifestyle. But for the Osman power couple, it's simply another day at the office.